persons of interest left in the same vehicle. If you believe you have any information that can help, call Crime Stoppers at one triple eight crime SC. And the Postal Service is offering a reward of up to twenty five thousand dollars for information leading to an arrest. <laughs> The opioid epidemic continues to get worse in the state of South Carolina. News 19's Jenna Corzina went to the South Carolina Governor's Opioid Summit and spoke to a recovering drug user on how he hopes the state works to combat this issue. Mothers, fathers, lawyers, doctors, there are, there are a lot of people that have been touched by this and they're everyday people. 748, the number of reported opioid related deaths in our state this past year. The nation, the state, and now our community are continuing to fight the opioid crisis. Every time we have a drug epidemic, uh, there's different things that are needed to combat it. For example, the Narcan with uh, reversing overdoses, but also just ways of talking to family members about not having shame. It's reducing that stigma and understanding this is a problem that we all share and since we all share the problem, we all need to share in the solution. At the South Carolina Governor's Opioid Summit, people shared their stories of recovery. Bobby Brazel, a prisoner to drugs for 23 years, has been in recovery since 2014. As I started taking pain pills, I, I quickly got addicted to, to the pain pills and um, I didn't really have access uh, to the endless amounts of pain pills and uh, heroin is readily available and that was the next step in my addiction and um, once I started doing that it just it went pretty quickly. Once addicted those drugs took over his daily life. I was a medic I'm an EMT and I'm working functionally working as an addict I'm, I'm a heroin addict as I'm working with people you know in, in ambulances and you know it's not not my shining moment but that's just the reality of it you know you think that uh, Somebody who's addicted is the person living under the bridge, and that's not necessarily the truth. Not only does drug addiction take over the person, it also takes a toll on the families and caregivers. It isn't a disease, it's just the family member that has been afflicted with it. It affects the entire family, and the entire family needs support. Support these three mothers say took a while to find. I didn't know anyone that was going through this in my community. I felt ashamed. I felt guilty. I felt just... Uh, confused about what to do for treatment for a child that did choose to start to experiment with drugs but did not choose addiction and this disease has not had the support until the last year or two and I'm so grateful to the state uh, for starting to wake up and do something about it. Governor McMaster said at the summit there is still a long way to go but we'll continue to work to fight this crisis. In Columbia, Jenna Kurzina, News 19 WLTX. It's been two years since the governor created the opioid task force to help combat the drug problem in our state. And today he talked about what he sees for the future of that program. Progress that we've made is, is reflected in the, I think it's nine or ten laws that we've passed in the last year. We really are on the vanguard here in South Carolina in, in responding to the problem uh, in, in, in all aspects of it. So we, we got a, a long way to go, but we, I think we're ahead of the rest of the country. And you could tell from the, the enthusiasm and understanding in that room, uh, people know that government is not going to solve the problem. It's going to take people, government, law, it's going to take everybody working to, together and understanding what we're up against to, to solve the problem. But I, I mean, I'm, I'm very encouraged with the strides we've made and uh, we're going to make more. The task force met last month and released a report saying there were 748 deaths in 2017. As we just heard from Jenna, that number has increased for three years. The report also talked about other drug related deaths, many of them seeing an increase over the past several years. Meanwhile, first responders are equipped to handle the opioid epidemic. Kershaw, Lexington, Newberry, Richland and Sumter deputies all are armed.